first thing you want to do before working on any electrically driven air compressor is to make sure the compressor itself is turned off. The power to the compressor is turned off and if possible that the air compressor is unplugged from the power service. Once you feel you're sure that you've turned off the power to the compressor and disconnected any additional power sources that might operate the air compressor, you want to use your multimeter or an amp probe to check to make sure that you are sure that there is no power being delivered to the air compressor. Use your multimeter to make sure that you don't have any operational power going to the compressor systems. Once you have verified this, you can move on to the next step of draining the tank or system pressure to make sure that the compressor is safe to operate. Once you verify that the air compressor is turned off and all electrical power has been disconnected from the air compressor, you want to make sure that you drain the system pressure from the tank of the compressor where you're working with. Make sure that this pressure has been drained down to zero. You can check by checking your tank pressure gauge to make sure that it reads zero. You can also check by pulling the tank safety valve to also make sure that there is no pressure left in the tank. The tank safety valve is typically located somewhere near the gauge. Once you've checked all these things, your compressor is now safe to work on. We will now show you how to replace the centrifugal and loader elbow on our CA1 and CA2 series pumps. First, we're gonna remove the centrifugal vent line. Next, the unloader elbow itself. You can see the centrifugal and loader pin that will come out. Here you can see the valve inside of the centrifugal and loader elbow. The pin for the centrifugal and loader that comes out of the pump will strike this. When you screw this valve in, you want the pin coming out of the pump to barely decompress this pin right here. You do not screw the valve all the way into the pump. You screw it in until this, until this pin is decompressed slightly and then you use your set nut to tighten the elbow unloader up against the pump. To put the new valve back on, we slide it over the centrifugal unloader pin and begin to thread it on the whole time watching to make sure that we're just barely decompressing the pin inside of the centrifugal unloader elbow. Once that happens, we make sure that our jam nut is firm and then we replace Once you have firmly tightened the centrifugal unloader line back up on the centrifugal unloader elbow, this process is complete.